Today we are gonna check out my most used free plugins for DaVinci Resolve and you definitely need to try them. Motion VFX So the first four plugins will be from Motion VFX, which are the most popular creators of plugins and presets for various softwares including DaVinci Resolve. If you go on their website, choose DaVinci Resolve category and type free in search bar. You will find some pretty cool free stuff here. And we will take a look at Hello DV, MCAM Rig and M Vertical. Go to Effects Browser, Effects and drag DV Glass plugin onto your clip. It creates this nice transition in the beginning and shapes your image with different frames you want. Change shape settings in the inspector window. Also size, radius, position, rotation, etc. You can create this nice rhombus shape, for example. And change background settings. DV loop. Let's drag it onto your clip. Basically, you can highlight any part of your image. It can be useful for tutorial creators like me when you need to highlight some settings on the screen. Or just show your talking head in any corner of the screen. Pretty cool and useful. And camera rig. This one is very useful when you want to zoom some object, person or any part of the screen with different variations. You can change tilt, zoom, pan, position, add blur and it will smoothly animate with the new parameters applied. And vertical. This one is a handy tool for those who want to use vertical videos in horizontal aspect ratio. It also has some basic adjustments like position, scale, rotation, image contrast, brightness as well as background settings. Mr. Alex Tech Next one is Mr. Alex Tech, which is one of the most popular DaVinci Resolve creators on YouTube. And we are going to take a look at his Magic Animate plugin, Magic Zoom and some seamless transitions. Go to Effects window, look up for Mr. Alex Tag folder and drag Magic Zoom on top of your clip. So this creates a nice zoom to your image. Zoom scale parameters as your starting point. You can change angle and edges to wrap or mirror so it eliminates the black parts of your image. Ok, next one is Magic Animate V3. This is basically all-in-one tool which allows you to combine different animations in one layer and without any keyframes. And it's totally free. So in the settings you can enable zooms to create a nice zoom in effect for example. That's the starting point and that's the end zoom value. You can change position here. Enable whip checkbox to add a whip animation for example. You can increase delay time to start whip animation later if you want. You can also enable spin effect. Change edges to mirror to duplicate your image. And you can create some cool combinations like spin plus zoom and add a dissolve animation. Pretty awesome. Let's use some seamless transitions also from Alex Tech. Go to Video Transitions tab and drag any transition in between two clips. This is a nice zoom in transition. Change zoom type to in and out. And add quality to give it even more epic look. Let's drag whip transition. This one is also a very cool transition in which you can add zoom. And change direction to any type you want. Awesome! Art Free Studio I have created a free presets pack recently, which includes some free effects and titles. 
it has 9 effects, 3 titles and it works with free version of DaVinci Resolve and I will constantly be adding some new presets over the time, so stay tuned. Ok, let's take a look at the titles first. This one is a cinematic title with tracking and blur animation. Here you can adjust all main parameters you need including the delay option. Ok, this one is a flicker title. You can adjust glow settings to your liking. As well as size, position, font, tracking and flicker delay to change animation speed. This is cool word by word title which allows you to animate each word one by one. Let's type something to see how it will be animated. It just delay value to change speed and style of your animation. You can add a drop shadow effect as well. Change delay type to none and it will animate all words together at the same time. Now let's take a quick look at the effects. It has 9 effects as of today and there will be more in the future. All these effects are available for download as a separate packs. I'm gonna drop acid colors effect. This one has a fast animation in the beginning of the clip and has a cool colorful glow and blur effects. You can adjust such parameters as glow, film grain, blur, etc. We will use next effect with adjustment clip. Drop adjustment clip onto the timeline and then drop film blur effect onto adjustment clip. So you can use it as a transition if you place adjustment clip on top of the cut between two clips. Change parameters to your liking. Let's try to use warp speed effect as a transition as well. Pretty cool. You can change different modes and check boxes to get the look you want using the inspector window. Ok, next one is a VHS effect. This one is a stylized VCR VHS effect that creates this cool 80s and 90s look. You can change text if you want as well as different effects like glow, blur, scan lines and more. Let's drop flash effect. This one adds subtle flashes and smooth zooms. Adjust parameters to your liking and disable zoom checkbox. This one is a flash effect but with duplicated clones inside, good for music videos. Adjust clones position, opacity, mask feather and other parameters. Next one is a flicker effect with flashes and blur effects. Let's take a look at shake effects. This one is a subtle handheld effect and another one is more dynamic and sharp. Also great for music videos. It includes a lot of settings to play around with. This is a Patrick Sterling. He is also well known in the Venture Resolve community and a creator beast. Go to sterlingsupply.co, plugins and presets and I will show you Picture and Picture Pro, Proto with free light and locked stabilizer. He also has more free plugins like titles and other effects, so definitely check those plugins too. Open Sterling Supply Co folder and apply Stabilize Lock effect. Hover the playhead to the first frame and click track forward. It will take some time to analyze. You can see it works already, but we need to zoom in a little and change position so our guy stays in the center of the screen. Pretty cool. Next one is picture in picture. It creates a small window for your talking head in any place with a lot of options to play around with. Super useful plugin for content creators. Change frame parameters. Adjust your footage so it is clearly visible. Change outline thickness, length. And color.
you can even add a second outline layer with motion. Great tool! Next one is a Proto V3 light. Go to Generators tab and drag it onto the timeline. Choose preset you like and open source controls. Change text. Style. And distortion controls. You can even change color to gradient. And it looks so awesome. Dehancer. Dehancer is a great film emulation plugin that instantly transforms your footage into a movie. I know it's not a free plugin, but it has a 1 month free trial and I use it almost every day. I recently made a review, which you can find in the description below, and you can also use a promo code ARTSTUDIO at the checkout if you decide to buy it. So here I have a clip of me shot on Sony FX30 with S-Log3, and let's grab Dehancer plugin onto this clip. You can choose the camera you use. It has a large selection of cameras including the drones and iPhone. Change film stock you like. It has more than 66 film profiles. Film compression lets you recover and adjust your image highlights. Then choose print you like. Add film grain, halation, bloom, and enable overscan as an option. So we have this nice filmic look in just a couple of clicks. And that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to support my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.